the Naira to dollar rate. I'm sorry I'm referring to this because that is the basic. If it tallies with that, with a little bit of increase due to the change, because a new administration is coming in place, that we see that there are so many things that needed to be provided. For instance, in the, uh, uh, the hospital attached to Asuro, I understand that uh, the equipment there are, you know, they are of the old. They are cake. They need to bring in something to be able to say, come, when I have an ailment that I can treat in Nigeria, why do we have to take our president abroad? If they are going to use such funds to provide that, I think our Nigerians would be reasonable to know that, you know. Senator you know, uh, sorry, Mark, but, you know, now we're talking about budget. What also comes to mind has to do with uh, oversight, which uh, if you look at what is happening with this uh, administration, looking into so many of the ministries, agencies, parastatals, mm -hmm. trying to see what uh, uh, has been achieved and what can be done, it would seem as if the oversight uh, culture or aspect of the National Assembly hasn't been perfect, uh, getting to see so many issues being raised. Uh, does that bother the Senate? And uh, what is the Senate doing in that light? No, you are, you are making me go back to it, the issue of the vehicles. Because if you are looking for a National Assembly that will do a very, very serious oversight, there are some minor things which may be major to the public that has to be provided. Let me give you an example. <clears throat> Let us say we are going to a ministry located in Abuja. And um, we decided that it is not within walking distance. Let's take our vehicles. And we find out that, you know, there is no vehicle in the pool dedicated for such assignments. There are two options. It is either you go with your own vehicle or you call on the ministry, which had been the practice in the past to provide you with a vehicle. But Senator, I thought to use, let, I let thought to use buses, not your... It can okay. be buses, can be vehicles. Even let us say you use buses provided by the Ministry of Agency. A situation where you've already compromised before you even finish your oversight duty might bring in um, a final report. Yeah, that, but, but that, Senator, that, sorry that, to interrupt that, you, Senator, yes. because I already get where it is that you're going yeah. uh, with that. But Nigerians will say vehicles were provided in the past, yet we still had the Senate president saying that senators will need to sit up this time around in terms of their oversight functions. <laughs> yes. uh, he believes that some of the things that are coming to light now uh, would not, should not have come to light now if only the senators had sat I, up. I just sat cited up to, to, the issue of vehicle as just one part of it. Yes, but I mean, so, the, the Nigerians will say that is not tenable. Uh, it is not tenable, you know, to that extent. But again, when you are looking at the operational side of it, it is a situation where you are giving, is, um, you are in an env environment which can compromise whatever comes out as a report should not be tolerated. The oversight function, as you have mentioned, is layman, is as still has to be worked on. No problem about that. It still has to be worked on. But we must operate within an environment that will not give room for any excuses. That is what I'm saying. That is the point I'm making. Mm. Okay, well, uh, Senator, I want to go back a little to, you know, when this national, the 8th National Assembly started, there was a rift between members of the Senate. Is that rift still present? The issue is right now subsidized. It's still in court? It's in court. The issue is in court. I happen to be one of the principal actors that, you know, um, plaintiffs, that, and whatever I say with due respect might be seen as uh, prejudicial to the outcome. What are you asking you know. for in court? Mm. Well, to determine whether there, there are fraudulent acts as far as the um, Senate order book 20. 
15 is concerned. That's, that's all. That's all you're asking for in court. Now, mm. but if you are in court, the chances are high that, you know, relationships might be strained within the National Assembly. That is where you will give kudos to the Eighth Assembly. Because regardless of uh, the principles behind going to court, Project Nigeria is priority. We must not let that reflect in whatever we do. And you could see that uh, with all intent and purposes, you should be able to give kudos to the National Assembly for having maintained decorum up till now in um, performing their duty. So what kind of 8th National Assembly are you looking forward to? Oh, 2016 or 8th all, all around. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for one that after the problems of uh, judicial uh, processes has been settled will be one that will deliver the goods and services that Nigerians are, are expecting to the populace, the electorates. That's the kind of Senate I'm looking for. I'm looking at a Senate that will work with the executive to ensure that indeed what transpired in um, uh, um, 2015 by Nigerians deciding to take their destiny by, in their hands is not regretted. I'm looking at the Senate that will assist the executive arm to ensure that whatever they bring in in the 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019 budget are oversighted in such a manner that it translates to services and goods that will benefit Nigerians. All right, before we go, and we'll have to in a minute, what's your impression about this argument making the front page about the rule of law arresting persons who have been granted bail? Well, and I, I, I want to mention names. You, you, are, you, are, you are discussing, we are discussing Dasuki now. No, not just the, in the, in the SNSC and Kano. You know, uh, from what, from my understanding, I, I was made to understand that there are several charges made against um, Alaji Dasuki. And uh, I, uh, a public opinion is saying, come, why can't they, if they had done their investigation properly, why can't they you know, just bring all the charges together, go to court, and let the court decide? Why are they doing it in piecemeal? Another sense is saying that, come, as they decide, Nigerians are in a hurry. You know, they've already tagged this government as being slow. <clears throat> and I want to believe that the president is saying, okay, whatever we have now, let us take them to court. Let us see how it works out. As you are processing that, if you are able to find other um, issues, that uh, the demand going to court, let's do that. Another sense in saying it's a game of trying to play on time. Yeah, but what do you think about it, Senator? What I think about it is that this is the judicial process. Yeah, sure, the, if they say look, that the, the government is, the agencies of government are violating. No, no, I, I wouldn't say they are violating. If they've been granted... Perhaps the attention needs to be, you know, called to it. I'm looking at a situation where government, we now look at the sense in gathering all the charges together, taking them to court once, and letting the court decide. That is my sense about it. Do you think a man should be arrested immediately he's granted bail? It depends on what he has done. If he has committed treasonable felony, if the new charge is treasonable felony, what he demands is that he should be arrested. Senator Gwenga Shafaz, the chairman, you. Senate Committee on Land Transport. Thank you for coming this morning. Thank you very much.